Oui, sacré bleu, zutolo. Today on Arts and Farts, we're talking about Felipe Druye. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, very much of his work. Uh, I just have the night right here and um, the American version. This was originally written in French, I believe, because he is a Frenchman uh, like Mobius. But he wrote, uh, I love this story. He wrote it for his wife, who I believe died of cancer. And he wrote it and dedicated it to her. So it's really beautiful. But man, this guy is, the colors are just phenomenal. Uh, he uses like a lot of bright, bright, um, warm colors uh, contrasted against cool colors. Like, look at that shit, man. That's not beautiful. I don't know what is. But uh, I don't know. It, I think it's watercolor. It sure looks like it. And so the original French version, the colors are way more vibrant. For some reason, when they uh, brought it over and redid it in English, they changed the colors. And so they're not as bright and you don't really notice. I think it's the contrast between uh, cool, cool colors and <clears throat> warm colors. But I mean, he really just like, I mean, like this shit just jumps right off the page, man. He, and his attention to detail too with the inks is just pretty, pretty sweet. Now, a lot of his stuff that I'm familiar with is comic books, but I feel like there's, this verges on more on fine art. And that's why, that's why this is an arts and farts and not that's comical because this shit to me is just fucking amazing. I mean, look at the. Look at the, I, I, just the, the motion and all the fucking detail that he puts into it. And it's just like, I don't, and like I said, it, it was like recolored. So it's hard for me to say, but a lot of these colors seem fairly dull. They're large, like portions of cool colors and then contrasted against warm colors. And he does it so effectively. Um, some of his other stuff, like Lone Sloan and stuff, uh, I'd really like to get into and talk about because uh, it's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> you see what I see? And like, look, that's like totally a speeder bike from Star Wars, right? Like fucking, they stole this shit straight from him. Like the the character designs are fucking awesome. It kind of, I mean, it, it's it is minimalistic in the color. Like I want him to go in, do detail, like color every little thing. But there's something to be said about just like, you know, blocky colors. The whole thing is just one color, and it's set up against something else. And it just like look at I don't know, just the the the, the color line, uh, like delineation there. Um, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. It's fucking so beautiful. <laughs> Those French people, man, they have delicious snails. And they sure know how to do them arts. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just his compositions are just really epic too. Like this, amazing. Even these panels do just the way they're pieced together and the way they flow. But really a master of color, master of detail, master of composition. Fucking does it all, man. Like, look at that shit. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? <laughs> like, oh my God, it jumps, jumps off the page straight down your butthole. I don't know. I like dirty, gritty art too. Like it's almost so much going on. You can't tell, but cohesively. There's that fucking constructive chaos in it. Composition. I, don't, I can't really get it on frame, but Jiminy Cricket, that is just masterful. And there's his sexy ass wife, man. God, she's so beautiful, man. I couldn't imagine losing a muse like that. A beautiful woman can make you produce some wonderful things. Aside from sperm, I'm talking about artwork and having a good muse and it's great it's cool as fuck how we incorporate this and the little dogs are in there um, but i think some of where the color when they change it over like you're you're like the stuff like on his forehead isn't popping out as much you can't see that like look at those epic compositions like jesus could you imagine 
the, the, the time and effort that went into something like this, all these tiny lines, like, you know, when he did this, it was huge. It was probably a giant, giant watercolor painting and to go in and do all that and then shrink it down. And you don't even really, you can't even really tell, like, it just makes it look dirty and gritty, which is cool. But like, there is just so much line work that is going into this so much effort. I mean, that's true dedication to someone that he fucking loved. This is, this is just fucking awesome, dude. I, I love Felipe Drouillet. I need, I can't be sleeping on his shit no more, man. I need to get me some more. Boom, baby. That's him. He's a master. Lone Sloan, that's some of, some of his other shit. And another one, Gale. They're all fucking great. Check them out. Sexy beast, baby. Frenchmen, who knew that they were so talented? Not me. I thought they were all fucking frogs.